What's the name of the band? Four on the Floor. Four on the Floor is playing the date instead of you guys. Want to bet? Charlie, get the truck ready. We're going to repossess the instruments. I hope you guys got lots of glue. If there's any trouble, we'll handle it. You will? Trust us, sweetheart. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> Brag, but this job's got to be my masterpiece. Hey, did we come to the right garage, Lance? I mean, is old Ross our main mechanic? Yeah, what a pair of hands. Yeah, they are lovely, aren't they? Grease is my middle name. Phone. Ross's garage, you ruin them, we tune them. Great, another big bop, old Ross. Hey, Vince, what's happening, man? What's happening is Mr. Franklin's waiting for us at his music store. Have you got him paid yet? Better our band instruments are going to be back in the window. Hey, relax. It's as good as in my pocket. Oh, yeah? Well, we're already out of time. Vince, you can't rush a surgeon. Okay, okay. See you later. But Mr. Franklin won't give us any more time. Oh, yes, he will. He will? Of course. I got a secret plan. The old secret plan. Would you mind letting us in on it? Oh, wait. You're going to punch him out, right? Yeah, nothing so coarse. See, I'm gonna walk right up to Mr. Franklin, pour on the old Vince Butler charm. <laughs> You're in trouble, kid. If I were you, I'd consider begging. Me? Beg? Never. Come on, Mr. Franklin, give us another chance. No way. I want the instruments back, and I want them back now. You teenage bands are all alike. You rock, and I get rolled. Be careful with the horn, Charlie. I can't sell them with dents. Right, Mr. Franklin. Oh, come on, Mr. Franklin, please. Our band's just getting off the ground. Well, you're headed for a crash landing, little girl. You're two payments behind. It's all over. I'm telling you, our buddy Ross is getting paid for this big engine job. We'll have both the payments for you. Both? Two? Both payments, then? That's right. Every penny. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Call me crazy, but trust is my middle name. Well, thanks, <laughs> Mr. Franklin. I wonder why I never feel satisfied with love Seems like I'm getting too much or not enough Yeah When I had everything going I wanted to be free And now I'm free Woe is me I'm still not satisfied You know I'm not the kind Who's looking to find perfection No, I just need so I can let my affection flow, my feelings show.
we are pretty good. Hey, thanks, Rick. You got taste. You never know by his menu. I understand you were a caterer at a hunger strike. Thanks, Bobby. Hey, look, you guys ever think about doing this for bucks? Rim shots? Jokes? No, I'm talking about playing for dances and stuff. You ever think about that? Sure. Sure, we think about it all the time. Nobody else does. Maybe we're just ahead of our time. That never stopped Lawrence Welk. Yeah, we'll get a job one of these days, if we still have our instruments. Not to worry, oh faithless leader. I will have the money in the morning. Oh, yeah? Well, you better, because Freddie Franklin's not about to give us any more time to catch up on those payments. We miss this one. We're back to playing combs and tissue papers. Lori, I told you, I'm going to have almost 200 bucks for that engine job. We are going to be in Fat City. That's great, great. Okay, look, guys, I got to close up now, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. You can leave your instruments and stuff here. They'll be perfectly safe overnight. Great, Rick. There's just one question. Do rats eat guitars? Man. Yeah. Hey, Bert, you talk about top 40 that's flat. <laughs> hey, that is fantastic, Ross. I mean, is this man the Duke of the Dipstick, the king of camshafts, or what? Yeah, exactly. yeah you guys are just saying that because it's true. Now, come on. <laughs> I tell you, is he the best? Hey, I told him you're the best. Hey, thanks a lot, Murph. Yeah, but here's the bad news. 178 bucks. I gave you the carburetor at my cost. It needed two new valves plus the tune-up. Hey, no problem. It's worth every penny. All right. Hey, is that fair, Lance? Mm -hmm. I mean, how does this guy stay in business? Beats me, man. Wait a minute. Where you going? Where's my money? Hang hey, loose, guy. You're gonna get it. When? I need the money now. I'm gonna hock up to my eyeball. Oh, no kidding. You too? Murph, you're ripping me off. Hey, listen. Feel free to use this as a reference. You bunch of bums! Okay. No money. No warranty. <laughs> Vince, there's no bread. Oh, this means goodbye to our band. Yeah, and adios to those parts I put in Murph's engine. What are we gonna do? Whatever it is, we gotta do it in less than, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, lots of luck. How about Rick? Maybe we could borrow it from him. Of course, that's it. Yeah! Are you kidding? Now, I'm not saying the business is slow, but this morning I had to sell my body to science. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, you think they'd want to buy mine? Not if you keep on eating that stuff. Hey, what's the matter with you guys, anyway? Are you just gonna sit around here because restrooms stomped all over you? Yeah, that's a good question. What do we do? Or... a high school principal. Look, while you guys are sitting here moaning, those deadbeats have a big gig tonight. What gig? Come on, who'd give those turkeys a job? Cubby Benson. Those bums couldn't get music out of a tape deck. I mean, why would Cubby even go for him? Hey, that job's got to be worth more than they stiffed me for. Hey, if we could take the job away from him, we could pay Freddie back. Believe me, you guys are already twice as good as those losers. Yeah! Wouldn't it be nice? Even restroom the old plunger? I'd love it. Yeah. Hey, come on, man. Let's grab our gear. Let's go give Cubby Benson an audition he can't refuse. Let's do it. Yeah. Thanks, I knew we never should have trusted Benson and his musical misfits. Charlie, get the truck ready. We're going to repossess the instruments. Really, Mr. Franklin? Yeah, it's about the only fun we have left in this rotten business. Hello, Palace of Music. Oh, you just missed him, Vince. I'm calling about the payments we owe you. Come on, Vince, we gotta get to Cubby. Come on. Good. Yeah, we need a little more time. Yeah. Um, would, would you tell him that I called? Thanks. <laughs> I'm talking about our band. Here we are about to audition. 
we don't even have a name. Hi, guys. Vincent is it. <laughs> That's crude. You're right. Vincent and is it. Uh, what are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, I got the name for the band. Four on the floor. Vince, I love it. Yeah. We're four on the floor. <laughs> Cubby's going to love us. All right. Band. So much for love, pal. Come on, Cub, give us a break, huh? You want a break? Okay. I'll give you half off on tickets. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Cubby, the least you could do is listen to us play. Vince, even if I did listen to you, it wouldn't change things. I've got to go with restroom. You got it, huh? Yeah, they're, um, well, they're really popular around here. Oh, sure, yeah. like final exams. I was right, they leaned on them. Wrong. I chose them myself. Listen. I gotta go shape things up. I'll see you around. Cubby? Yeah? Need any help? I know what you're trying to do, Lori. And it's not gonna work. When I make up my mind, I make up my mind. Cub, I know that. It's what I've always admired about you. Cub, admit it, we're a lot better than the restroom, right? Well, yeah, yeah. And you want your dance to be a winner, don't you? Well, sure I do. This is your dance, isn't it? You bet it is. It's my show. Then we're hired, right, Cub? Right. right. You guys are going to play my dance. Way to go, yeah. Cubby. Aren't you glad he thought of it? Yeah. You won't regret it, Cub. Want to bet? What do you say, Cub? Thought we'd slide by and set up our stuff. Got hey. the money you owe me, Murph? Sure thing. After we play this gig, right, Cub? Hey, wait a minute, Murph. This is Cubby's operation, and it's his decision. S sorry, Murph. Four on the floor is playing the date instead of you guys. Oh. Okay. Whatever you say. You're not sore? No. Of course not. Hey, congratulations, guys. I sure hope you're well enough to play tonight. <laughs> on Cubby, didn't you? You know, for a minute there, he almost stopped eating. <laughs> hey, why don't we take you to lunch? Thanks, but Cubby's buying it for me. You made a date with him? You didn't have to do that. That's going beyond the call of duty. I'm doing it because I want to. You saw. Cubby's not such a bad guy. Hey, sucker. Nice guitar you used to have. 
Maybe by tonight you can learn a new bird call. Give me back my guitar. Tommy, tie this down. Come on, Vince. Go get him. move. This is an official repossession. All right, Charlie, get the stuff. Be careful with it. I have to sell it again. Ah, come on, Mr. Franklin. You'll have your money as soon as we get paid. Sure, just like you promised this morning. Be careful with that guitar, you butterfingers. But it's the truth, man. Be honest, Mr. Franklin. Listen, Freddy, get off their cases, huh? Now, I know these kids. If they say they've got a job, they've got a job. Like I said, Mr. Franklin, you'll have your money tonight. Tell you what, I'll personally guarantee it. You will? Yeah. His muscles alone are worth the price of these guitars. Cubby, I can't remember when I've had so much fun. Oh, that's great. Here, have a pickle. No. Well, well how about some cheese, then? I can't eat anymore. I'm too excited about tonight. Oh, you guys are going to be great. You know, Cubby, you're a really sweet guy. You don't have to say that, Laurie. And you don't have to be here just because I hired your band. Listen, Mr. Benson, let's get one thing straight. I don't date people I don't like. Freeze. Sorry, we're late, guys. You freaks. Look at my picnic! Hey, Cubby, you got mustard on my tire. You know something? Guys like you give the pits a bad name. Oh, cute. Real cute. Murph, what do you want? Well, it's funny you should ask, Cubby. We're thinking about your dance tonight? Yeah. We want it to be a real success. Sure you do. So we thought we'd give you a suggestion or two. Sure, sure, Murph. You know I'm always open for suggestions. Cubby! I see. I tell you, old Cub's got an open mind. Ta-da! What do you think, man? Rick, are we gorgeous or what? Check the red. Hey, hey, that's right on the numbers, guys. You gotta look all your own. And the best part is, we can sell ice cream bars in between sets. Hey, Rick, we're gonna be a happening. Well, this calls for a celebration. All right! All right. On the house. All right. Let me guess. Bean curd shakes all around. Now, just for that wise guy, you don't get it. Oh, oh. Pinch me, Lance. I think I'm seeing a vision. Burke. Uh, look, they got new jammies. 
If you're looking for a fight, we'll give you one. Now stay cool, guys. Fight? Oh, what fight? Hey, we just came by to give you these freebies for the dance we're playing at the barn tonight. You're playing? Hey, we got that job. Hey, did I remind Kobe of that? Hey, I pleaded with him not to change his mind, but the big leg wouldn't listen. Well, that, that's showbiz. Gorillas, good guys, zip. He can always lean on Cubby. We restroomed in. Forget it. I mean, he'll change his mind five minutes later. <laughs> Make that thirty seconds. Okay, hold it, hold it. We've got a whole plan. How about we phone up restroom? We pretend that we're a big Las Vegas nightclub. And we need him to do a TV special this afternoon. Then restroom flies to Vegas and, uh, or not. It's nice, Ross. But meanwhile, Mr. Franklin expects his money tonight for a job we don't even have anymore. Yeah, but if we're lucky, he won't hear about it. Hey, what? Are you sure? Yeah, Mr. Franklin. I just ran into Cubby Benson. He fired four on the floor. Get the truck ready, Charlie. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm grabbing those instruments now. All right. All right, listen, you guys. I bet you there's one thing you haven't thought of. Taking a contract out in restrooms? Well, we can't afford it. Turkey, I'm talking about two bands playing at the dance. What? Yeah! You know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. You'd really get a chance to show up restrooms. Cubby'd never go for it. No way. Well, maybe what Cubby needs is a little moral support, huh? <laughs> Lori, watch the store for a while. Got it. Let's go. Mr. Franklin, I don't think we're going to catch him. <laughs> Whose side are you on, Charlie? Get out of my truck, you're fired. Two bands? And just think of it, Cub. Your dance will be the best thing since Cow Jam 2. Gee, I don't know. I'm having enough trouble with one band already. Look, Cub, you don't have to worry about restroom. If there's any trouble, we'll handle it. You will? Trust us, sweetheart. Yeah, but I only got enough money to pay for one band. I got it. Let's say we make it a competition. Let's say uh, the kids at the dance decide which band's the best. Yeah, and winner takes all. Is that fair? I love it. But, but I don't know if Murph will love it. Hey, like I said, Cub, I'll be here tonight. Okay, you got yourself a deal. All right! Hey, I won't even charge you for tickets. Right. Seven o'clock sharp, okay, guys? All right, thanks a lot, Cubby. See you later, Cub. See you tonight. Woo-hoo, tonight! Great idea, Cub. Murph, I didn't know you guys were here. I mean, why didn't we think of having a band competition? It's me, Murph. Such a natural. Cubby, we'd be proud to compete with four on the floor, especially if they're lucky enough to get here. about it except for our trained seals and good luck elephant. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered for you guys. Get in there. Right, Go on, thanks, love us. Love us. All right. Yeah, we're gonna boogie. Hey, see you guys at the dance, huh? Only if you bring me a corsage. Yeah, them little snakes. Nobody's sneakier than Freddie Franklin. Nobody. Bill Stables. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Phil. It's me, Murph. Your favorite nephew. My lucky day. 
Oh, good old Uncle Phil, always joking around. Hey, listen, Uncle Phil, you think you can do me a really big favor? You want to borrow money again, right? No, no, no money. All I need to borrow this time is that big old horse van of yours. What? You into wrestling now? Oh, that's a good one. Listen, could you also do me one little favor? You want the van filled with girls, right? No, I was wondering if you'd mind towing the van to the old Canyon Road for us and leaving it there? The old Canyon Road? That's right, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Now, wait a minute. What are you gonna do with my van? Oh, it's just a little surprise for some friends, that's all. Sure. And when can I have it back? Tomorrow, first thing. Oh, can you do it for me, Uncle Phil? I'd really appreciate it if you could. It, I mean, it, it'd really mean a lot to me if you could. Yeah, knowing you, it's liable to mean 30 to 60 days in the pokey. Well, okay, all right. I'll drop it off for you in about an hour. All right, thank you. Lance, you went for it. Okay, now for step number two. You do the job on the bike? I got it. I flattened both the tires, like you said. Okay, now why don't you break a few spokes just to play it on the safe side, okay? It's good thinking. All right, now all we have to do is bait the trap with our sexy little blonde friend, and we're in business. <laughs> Up restroom tonight. Yeah, I can feel it. We got it all locked up. Vanilla's <laughs> Murph. 
horse track. <laughs> yeah, with a little luck, they'll be playing Phoenix Rodeo by tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're locked in there. Oh, man, I'm wiped out. But you can't stop now. We'll be here for a month. Uh, back off, Mr. Franklin. We only came a few miles. So? So somebody's bound to find us. I mean, it only makes sense, right? How far can we be from the main drag? I have no idea. Come on, Lori, I did the best I could. I'm only human. Yeah, I guess I have been a little rough on you. Friends? Friends. Will you save a couple numbers for me tonight? Sure. Yeah, speaking of dancing, where's Vince and Bobby? Yeah, they should have been here by now. For sure, I got you down for the first set. Now, well, I gotta check out the snack bar. I'll see you later. Don't forget to save some for the customers, Cubby. on their way. Oh, really? Hey, kid, you're looking pretty good. I take that as a compliment. If it came from a real person. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't talk that way to Vince, whatever he is. You know something, Lori? Yeah, and I think we better get looking for him, and fast. More Bobby, it's coming. Okay. Well, hurry up, I'm getting crazy in here. Yeah, I think you had a head start, Mr. Franklin. Oh, funny, funny. Well, looks like we're out of the box. Yeah, and into another. Phew, man, what's that smell? Oh, it's either Freddy or we're in a horse trailer. Uh, Bobby, I don't think it's that bad. You're right. Must be a horse trailer. I don't know how you and your friends arrange this, but you're all going to be in a lot of trouble when we get out of here. By the looks of it, it looks like we might be in here for a couple of weeks. I don't know, Lori. We should have run into him by now. I'll bet our hunch is right. Restroom ran into them first. Hey, look. Is that Rick? What happened? What's that you're carrying? A little reminder of how stupid a guy can get. Man, I've heard a keep on talking, but this is ridiculous. Why don't you two dummies try using the horn? Because us two dummies know that the horn won't work without the ignition on it. Besides, Murph took the keys. You two will do anything to keep from making payments, won't you? Will you get off our backs, Freddy? You want to hit me? Go ahead, hit me. Top of kidnapping, I'll sue you for assault and battery. Battery? Hey, Bob, go in the van and see if there's some pliers and tape. We're in luck. All he's got in here is pliers and tape. OK, now it's green, and it has a bumper sticker on the back that says, warning, I break for bikinis. And what kind of a crazy car is this? It's the latest in Rolls Royce, kid. Where you been? Forget that. Forget that. Have you seen my van? That was yours? Man, what a clunker. Who is this kid, Ralph Nader? Which way did my van go? It went down that way and turned off on the dirt road. Thanks. It's kids like that who give childhood a bad name. Yet. 
because there's nothing here. Yeah, well, maybe that kid gave us a bum steer. Yeah, I'm turning back. We're wasting time. Have you connected the wire yet, Vince? You jerks. I'm just about finished. Okay, Bobby. Let's give it a shot. If we got an audience. Now, just a minute, you two. This equipment is not yours anymore. Didn't you hear me? Freddie, I can't hear you. The music's too loud. What music? This music. <laughs> She's four on the floor, made such a big deal out of need this gig tonight. Uh, some kids are like that. You do them a favor, see what they do? Yeah. Too bad. Well, it looks like your band's gonna have to play the gig alone tonight. And we get all the money. Yeah, of course. Okay, Cub. We'll try and save it for you. Hey, it's no good, guys, huh? It's wipeout time with these locks. Well, then this is their only way out, so come on, let's hurry. These boats are all rusted. Tell me about it. By the time we get out of here, they'll have new dances. And I'll have termites in my guitars. Do something, you twits! Oh, we're never gonna make it. I'm not so sure. Hey, Ross! Yeah, Rick? How strong is that ball hit of yours? What you're thinking is what I think you're thinking, strong enough. I hope. Hey, Vince, Bobby, hang in there with those bolts. We're on our way to the barn. <laughs> it's happened. Junk food has finally ruined Ross's brain. Okay, Ross, bring it back. Keep on coming. A little more. A little more. A little more. Hold it. There. Rick, I hope it holds. It's got to. If it doesn't, I'm getting blisters for nothing. This isn't going to work. You kids ought to be put in a home for the criminally stupid. Keep two cross for me. Truth. Truth. What do you kids know about truth? You just knock it off, Freddy. Let her rip, Ross. Way to go, Ross. You did it. Yeah. Does this mean I get to join the team, sir? You'll never qualify if you don't get the out of part. <laughs>
walk out. Take the money and split so I can put on some disco records. Now, you guys stay right where you are. If they want us out, they'll have to carry us out. What's going on? Restroom, you're down the tubes. Any requests? Yeah, I've got one. Let's get him out of here. Come on. Hey, wait, you ain't playing, not one note. Hey, where's your ticket? What ticket? Where am I gonna get a ticket in a horse trailer? Those deadbeats took my equipment. I had to crawl out all by myself. Hey, bathroom! Restroom. Whatever, those are the punks that stiffed me the first time. This is my night to get even, pal. <laughs> hey, Cub, would you mind paying for on the floor in advance? My pleasure. Thanks. You go. Cool. Right. There you are, Freddy. Paid in full. We're all caught up. Yeah, well, I knew you were good for it all the time, kid. Uh, tell the rest of the boys it was a pleasure doing business with them. Now I gotta see men's room about the stuff they beat me out of. <laughs> and here they are, the band we've all been waiting for, directing their recent cross-country tour, Vince Butler and Four on the Floor. Stuff you stiffed Ross for this morning. 
Is that from our van? Oh, don't worry, Murph. The van will still run. We start at the top of a hill. Now, do me a favor. Yeah? Take off. Stop the end of track. Love to the limit. Take it off. Good night, Vince. Good night. Good night.